Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to show you how you can increase the number of burlap sacks and the amount of netting that spawns in on your DAISY private custom community server. And you may well be thinking, well wait a minute, burlap sacks, aren't they? They're a bit useless really, aren't they? You can add a few sticks and make a, a crappy improvised backpack, but there's backpacks everywhere. And you are right, you can make the improvised backpack with a burlap sack. But if you cut up a burlap sack and then get burlap strips, if you then combine them with netting, that's the basis for making improvised camouflage. In other words, ghillie suits and ghillie hoods and um, ghillie cloaks and gun, um, gun ghillie cover things as well so so it's really important and um, especially for more advanced players shall we say who are really getting into crafting and living off the land it's a really cool thing to do to make your own ghillie suit because you have to have quite a few burlap strips and I think you only get you may only get one burlap strip or maybe two burlap strips from each burlap sack so anyway, let's show. Let me show you how you how you to increase the number of burlap sacks and increase the amount of netting that spawns in. Now, I'm using Nitrado as an example in this video. You may well use FTP to access your server. You may well use a different server provider. Um, but in Nitrado, you click on the web interface of the server that you want to modify because what we're trying to get access to is the types. .xml file. Now this is a PlayStation 4 Nitrado server, so down on the left we have the file browser down here. So we click on where it says file browser underneath tools, and now we're going into the file structure of the server. Now this should be similar for Xbox and PlayStation. If you're on a PC server, you may well have to dig down a couple of levels before you get to the missions folder. And then you click on the missions folder and then you'll either see something like this that says Chandra's Plus or it might say Enoch instead, which means it's a Livonia map, or it might say both. It might say Chandra's Plus and Enoch. In that case, just remember which map the server is running and click on that one. Now, once we're into the uh, Chandra's Plus, we then want to go into the DB folder. This one here, DB database. And then the file we're interested in is the one here types.xml so you want to click on this little icon here that says download and you want to download that file and then once you've downloaded it you want to make a copy of it that way if you make an error and you can't recover the error you can still go back and just start again with a fresh types file and then we need to open it now you can open it it's a text file you can open it in notepad and um, you could open it in um, in the web actually on, on the nitrado site however i recommend you open it up in something like Notepad++, which is a free but more advanced text editor that does, among other things, it color codes um, the uh, the text. So that if you make a mistake and you delete something that you shouldn't have, normally like an opening and closing bracket for an argument, um, you'll be able to spot it. So let's start off with burlap sacks. So Control F in Notepad++ is probably the same in the other one, and let's just search for burlap. There we go. So here's the burlap sacks, this, uh, this bit here. Now, normally there are 100 burlap sacks that spawn in on a vanilla server as of October 2020. But you think how many times you come across them. Often you'll see nominal values in DayZ and you think they're quite high, but you think, actually, I don't actually come across these things very often. Now, it could be because these are only found in industrial areas and farm areas so it may be that you're not coming across them but let's increase the number of burlap sacks that you can find now i think you're fairly safe with adding between 25 percent and 50 percent to to mo to an item you want to increase in your types that xml now don't do this to every single item and in fact if we take this up to 150 burlap sacks you should be going in and should be taking away 50 of the non-essential items that you don't use. Like, I don't know, some of the hard hats or the skater hats or the dress shoes or the high cropped hiking pants, that sort of stuff. Get rid of them so that you're balancing your server. Remember to bring up the minimum as well. Let's make, make that 125 because that's at the point at which the game starts spawning back in your burlap sacks. Now let's have a look at the flags. 
The only flag with one, which means yes, is counting map. So that's good. So if people pick them up or um, they put them in their bag or they put them in their base, put them in a tent, the map doesn't count them toward that 150 nominal value. But let's have a look at this. So they're found in industrial places and farm places. That's the usage name. Now, why don't we add somewhere else as well? So let's copy that and let's add another one. So it's used in industrial places and far and farm areas. So we want to add somewhere else. But I tell you what, why don't we jump ahead and have a quick look at the netting? And let's see where the netting stuff is found. Now the netting stuff, the netting is found in industrial areas like the burlap sacks, but also on the coast. So why don't we go back to burlap and add coast. Like so. Okay. So now the burlap sacks will be found in industrial areas, in farms, and on the coast, where people will be finding the netting as well. So it makes it so although we, you know we've added another 50 burlap sacks that will spawn in on our server, but we've spread them out because they're now gonna spawn in on the coast as well. So that's pretty good. So now from what I remember, the netting spawned in in industrial areas and the coast so I've just copied that usage name for farm so if we now look for the netting what we're going to do the first thing we're going to do yeah industrial and coast let's add another usage and let's add the usage of farm so now burlap sacks and netting are going to be found in the same places you know and I mean, I know you could argue this is kind of going against some of the ideas behind Daisy of making it, you know, a hardcore survival game. But often when we're editing our types of XMLs, we're doing it to make the game easier, aren't we, on our, on our private servers, to make it easier to survive, to make it more fun so you can get to know how to make all these things. Now, let's have a look at the nominal. Now, the nominal is pretty low at 50, so let's double this again. Let's get up to 100. Let's get everybody making ghillie suits. And let's change the minimum up to 80. Let's have a look. Um, counting cargo. So the only positive one, the only yes, is counting map, which is one. So that's good. Tool industrial coast farm. So there we go. So we've increased the number of the amount of netting and the amount of burlap sacks that are spawning in our server. And we've also made it so that we've, they spawn in an extra location. So the netting now so now also spawns on farms, and the burlap sacks also spawn on the coast. So you're going to kind of find them. They won't be together, but they might be in some cases. But they'll be in similar sort of locations. So you want to save that. And then what I always recommend you do is you head over to somewhere like um, xmlvalidation.com and you want to upload your types.xml just to check it for errors. You should always do this. And that way, if you've accidentally deleted something, you, you know, one of those triangle brackets or an angle bracket or you've added something in this will tell you that now watch out for false positives which tend to be included in the comments in the xml files for some reason bohemia interactive enjoy putting more hyphens in especially in their config um co uh, conf uh, spawnable types.xml that's got a classic one where the army comment is but once you're happy with that what you then want to do is you want to go back to your server you want to stop it and you want to upload your edited types.xml file and then you want to restart your server and then they will start spawning in you'll start having more burlap sacks you'll start having more netting spawning in and as i say you know if people know about it they can then start making the ghillie hoods the ghillie suits the ghillie hood you know the, the weapon ghillie attachments whatever you call them and all that sort of stuff it's great fun and uh, they're excellent camouflage as well and I think they're one of the cooler things that you can make as well, I think. You know, craft, uh, crafting... When there was crafting in video games, when I first came across them in things like Fallout, I always thought, what a terrible idea. But now I quite enjoy crafting. I think I enjoy it in Daisy because it is so um, immersive, the game. You know, again, it kind of fits where it is, you know, the fact that you're in the zombie apocalypse. And you tend to be only, elf, tend to be only able to craft things that you could probably craft in real life. You know, I tend to believe that, yeah... You could craft an improvised ghillie suit, couldn't you, with by cutting up some rags and and um, 
and some netting and putting some old leaves in and stuff like that. I don't think you could, if you were in the zombie apocalypse, if you didn't know, if you weren't a, a, a machinist, I don't think you could craft an assault rifle. You know, I think it would be very difficult to craft bullets. Maybe shotgun shells you could do, but bullets you couldn't you couldn't craft. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you need a, a very good machine and know how to use that machine. Where things like burlap sacks and and netting, yeah, we can we can relate to that, can't we? Anyway, that's enough of me waffling on. If you found the video useful, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And of course, I'll see you again soon.